Now, this is the follow-up question that I received and if you are not familiar with the previous question, just look, take a look at my previous video and it was a question regarding uh, an applicant, a visa applicant. I'll read, I'll just read what he wrote before. Yeah, I read. It says, I just stumbled on this thread today after my Italian study visa was denied yesterday based on insufficient document and I was told to appeal after 60 days through an Italian lawyer which I think is kind of difficult because of my resumption date which is 25th of September. I am confused by what they meant by insufficient document. Please enlighten me on this. So, and I replied then stating, I don't think the embassy can tell you the, can tell you to appeal. They can only inform you that you are allowed to appeal the decision, which means that you are entitled to appeal. Unfortunately, no one can advise you without knowing the documents that were involved and their deficiencies. So now the follow-up question is, yeah, this is the follow-up question. It says, I was told I am allowed to appeal. These are the documents I submitted. One, admission letter. Two, all my legalized documents, both original and photocopy. Three, sponsorship letter from my uncle. Four, mm -hmm. four, spons sponsor's bank statement of 13 million balance. Five, uncle's birth certificate. Six, mother's marriage certificate. Seven, uncle's CAC. Eight, hotel booking. Nine, flight booking. Mm -mm. Ten, sponsor's national ID card. Eleven, application form. Now, there is a note here. It says, denied is sufficient documentation. Please kindly advise me on what document to add. See you. Well, I can't, I don't know what he meant by see you. I have deferred my admission to next year, March. Okay, now I have already given a written answer, but for the sake of this video, I will read. Being informed, this is me, I'm quoting myself here. Being informed that you are entitled to appeal is not the same thing as being told to appeal. Well, the main issue that I see here is the sponsor that you presented. It is not an ideal thing to present an uncle or anybody who is not your parents, sibling, or spouse as a sponsor. This is perhaps what they meant by insufficient document, which may mean that the document provided in regard to sponsor is not sufficient as the sponsor is not deemed appropriate. And another thing I see here is that, first of all, let's look at the 13 million euros or naira or dollar bank statement. Let's look at that. Is that money available for your use? You can't just bring somebody's entire st statement, entire savings and present it as something that you are using as a sponsor, I mean sponsor's bank statement, because obviously that money is not for you. So, and again, the owner of the money, what can you say that the owner of the money stands to gain from your trip? Why would he sponsor you? You have to prove that 
this person stands to gain this by your traveling abroad and this person has to prove it that yes this is the reason i'm sponsoring this person abroad because i stand to gain this by allowing this person to travel abroad can you see deficiency there so this may be what they meant by insufficient document and another thing I see here, I have made a video, I have made videos before regarding the risk of booking flights when you do not have the visa. You are not required to book a flight. You cannot, even if you make reservation, the reservation can only stay for one day and then after that, after that it is cancelled. And to book a flight, you might have to pay some money. So you are not required to book a flight because if you are refused the visa your money will be lost you will forfeit your money the money for booking a flight how can you book a flight for a visa that you're not sure of so visa officers understand this when they talk about itinerary they are not talking about booking flights they are talking about travel plans this could in include um yeah, let me tell you where booking a flight may be important if you are applying for a transit visa. So you might need to present an on-war ticket that you are leaving the country where you will be transiting. So this is the only instance that you will be required to provide flight ticket or um, flight booking, evidence of flight booking. Apart from that, you cannot be saying you are going to the United States you don't have a visa yet and yet you are booking a flight you can book a flight without a visa but no one thing your money cannot be refunded especially when you are booking economic uh, on uh, uh, booking the economic class so even if you are booking higher class ticket you might be made to pay some percentage if you cancel your flight so it is not a requirement that you should book a ticket, flight ticket, before applying for a visa. Stop making that mistake and stop losing your money. So I think I have answered your question and subscribe for more videos. And thank you for watching.